guys let's do a reading for twin flames and it can also resonate for soulmates or other love relationships but it's primarily for twin flames and as usual i'm going to put the divine masculine's energy on this side the divine feminines on this side and we're checking their thoughts feelings and actions in the near future towards one another the challenge the outcome advice for both of them and an angel roma's angel cards um, for for all for for both of them and for both of them for each of them and for both of them as well okay oh and this is for the collective after i finish this i'll do quick individual messages for each sign of the zodiac going from aries to pisces okay now one more one more okay so the divine masculine and his thoughts His feelings. His actions. The divine feminine thoughts. Feelings. Ooh. And actions. Now, what's that? What happened here? The challenge, <laughs> yeah, the outcome, advice for him, advice for her. and Roma's angels hmm interesting okay his thoughts there is surprise surprise desire in his head and sexual energy he's thinking that he should do something he's not feeling well about the whole situation because the star is reversed in his feelings so it's like there's this dream that can't come true either he doesn't believe that they will be together or at the moment they can't be well because obviously this is for those who aren't together because if you are then why would you be watching this so he there is desire and the, the there there's this passion in his thoughts so that's what he's thinking i want her and perhaps i should do something towards her perhaps it's my turn to do something but in his feelings but will it ever happen is it even possible it's like an impossible dream will this dream ever come true this is in his feelings now instead of doing something even though he's thinking that perhaps he should he's going to wait until the universe brings them together yeah i mean basically that's what he's doing i mean if it's meant to be it will be if it's if we're meant to meet up or if we're meant to talk or if we are meant to be with each other and not with other people then the universe will give us a sign maybe 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 that's what he's waiting for maybe he's waiting for a sign from the universe but his actions are like none like he's not going to do anything because he believes in the divine timing and that's what he's gonna do wait until everything is synchronized that they can be together in her thoughts 
she can see the truth, but is it about him? If so, she's not happy. Or is it about this relationship? It's like she saw through a lie. We have the seven of swords. It's like, and it's reversed. So it's like she can see the truth. Or maybe she wants him to tell her the truth. Or maybe she has something to tell him. Whichever resonates now. But in her thoughts, we have this thought that now I know the truth or now it's time to say or tell the truth. That's in her thoughts. Maybe she's thinking he knows something about her. Maybe she knows something about him, but he wouldn't be aware of that. In her feelings, not everything is over in her feelings. Like something still there like there are, there are still some feelings there left but she doesn't she believes or she feels like this relationship will be a disaster or is a disaster and she wants to avoid the disaster so she believes by doing whatever she's doing which is nothing she's going to avoid a disaster with him so she must believe, like, like feel. It's not even her in her thoughts, although we do have this awareness in her thoughts also. But in her deep feelings, it's like she can feel that this whole thing is a disaster and she has to avoid it. So what is she going to do? Nothing. Is she going to talk to him? No. No? Well, definitely, like, she, she probably shouldn't even because her advice is don't talk to him. I don't know, guys. I don't know why. I don't know your situation. I don't know. Maybe he's married. Maybe you are. Maybe you have other people. Maybe you're just not meant to be together right now. But her advice is don't talk to him. His advice is to release something. I don't know what. If he's with a karmic relationship or he's hung up on someone else not her but someone else from his past he's supposed to release something or someone yeah from the past but if he's like whatever he is holding on to tightly he's supposed to release it but sometimes this card talks about saying something and this could be something that she is expecting him to do because she might be waiting for the truth to be told and he is supposed to release something. So sometimes it means say something that you've been hiding. Yeah, that's his advice. Her advice, don't talk to him first. Don't do the first move. And she's not going to anyway. So this advice is like there, but she's not going, she wasn't going to anyway. And she's not supposed to for whatever reason. Maybe it's his move. And it's funny because he knows that it's his move because that's what's in his head it's my move i should do something um the challenge is obvious and you guys already know that this is a challenge here they can't let go now they they definitely cannot let go of one another okay so none of them can leave this story this relationship this whatever it is however one of them or both might also have other people like karmic relationship like other soulmates or whatever and it's possible that for some of you not for all of you but for some of you that's the challenge that someone isn't leaving someone else and that's why you two can't be together but it's definitely also talking. And that's why it's a challenge. It's like, I can't leave my karmic relationship, but I can't leave you either. Yeah. So this is also talking about them not being able to leave one another. Okay. Okay. Now, outcome in a second. Um, angel cards for both of them. He has free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah. And this is very similar to this advice here, the um, four of coins reversed. Like I said, like 
release something. Stop holding on to something tightly. Free, free yourself. That's his angel card. She has past life relationship. You've known each other before. I don't know why she needs to know that. Unless she has someone else coming into her life and it's going to be a karmic relationship. If that's the case for you guys, for for the girls. Um, but yeah, maybe there's still some karma left. Well, there's probably still some karma left between the two of them. And maybe that's why this is a reminder for the Divine Feminine that you've known each other before. Yeah. As in, you have karma. Now, the, um, the angel card for both of them is... Actually, no, wait. First, I'll tell you the outcome because it's funny. The outcome is that someone or both, one of them or both of them are still going to be closed off. Nobody's opening up. This can mean no contact or even if there is contact, this means that people aren't opened to this relationship. If one of them does something and is going to open up, the other one is going to be very guarded. This is what this person or both of them are doing. Like someone here is being guarded. It's like, I'm not going to open up because you've hurt me before. So I'm not going to let you do it again. Yeah. So one of them or both, I'm not sure now. It's I'm guessing I'm guessing one of them is going to be closed off and the other one is going to try something. From this, it kind of seems that he is going to try something and she's going to be like, no, thank you. However, it can go like both ways, like you know yourself. It could be that he will come to talk to her and to try something again, but he still will be closed off. And because she's expecting him to tell her the truth and he won't that's why we have this yeah like there's a like that like the gates are closed basically yeah there's like a wall or something now the angel cards says it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so don't be closed off open your heart says the angel card the angel card interesting um yeah so it's not nothing is moving he's waiting for whatever and she's not doing anything she's not supposed to he's supposed to like release himself from something he is thinking about her knowing he knows it's his move but he doesn't believe that something can happen between the two of them they can't leave one another she is waiting for the truth and she doesn't want to talk to him, but she's waiting for the truth. Stagnation is basically what's happening here. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see what messages we get for individual signs, okay? Now... Aries. Ah, uh, not 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 anytime soon. Okay, this is not the time. It's like you're not making it happen anytime soon because the wheel of fortune is reversed. It's like um you're still waiting for some karma to be cleared out maybe you're with other people, maybe you're not, but it's not the time. It's not the right time for um an aries taurus Ooh, a new beginning now a taurus and their twin flame might actually start something again it's like you do have very positive energy here however a new beginning may also mean that somebody will get tired of this and start a new beginning with someone else definitely there is a new beginning for a Taurus, okay? And it's a good new beginning. Maybe with your twin twin, hopefully. Um, Gemini. Guys, somebody's afraid of this. Somebody doesn't have enough strength 
to go through with something so that you too can be together. One of you or both. Not enough strength. Um, there could be a little, there could be a bit of um, ego still in the way. Yeah, so this would have to be cleared out. Right now, you're not coming together yet. That's Gemini. Cancer. No. Um, you might you might talk, sure. There's there might be other people here. This this is unfortunately very possible. You might talk, you might meet up, you might have like conversations or whatever, but it's not going anywhere. So it's reversed. So no, no union. However, you might be in touch. Yeah, you might you might talk and stuff, but Leo Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Well, there is a possibility that you will work on um, this relationship. As in, concentrate on your, like, um, spiritual growth. Yeah, so then that will get you further on your path to, like, uniting with your twin flame. However, you both or one of you might also be very concentrated on work at the, at the, at the moment. Maybe somebody's like really, yeah, you know, working a lot and concentrating on money and the material life. So, yeah, it could be that too. But, yeah, there's definitely focusing on one another here for Leos. Okay. Virgo. Ooh. No. No. Not yet. You are twin flames, but nope. You're not coming together just yet. You may even stop talking if you are. You may stop talking. Libra. Ooh, the tower. Okay, a great realization and perhaps people like having very difficult conversations. Um, uh, like confronting other people. You know, one of you can confront, might confront the other one. But yeah, something will definitely happen. It won't stay in this like stagnation that we saw here for Libras and their twin flames. But it may shake you whatever happens. Yeah. It may also it may also mean that you 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 might decide to to leave the other person, you know, like for good. Which you won't be able to do like for forever, but still. Scorpio, we, oh, well, unless this means that someone's married, which would mean, no, you're not getting together because one of you or both are married, this is growth and this is empathy and love and unconditional love. So yeah, this is a great um, card for Twin Flames, for Scorpios. Sagittarius. Whoops. I don't know. It doesn't seem like, unless you're going through a huge transformation, unless people are going through like, a, like really great realizations, you know, that you should change. You should change your ways. You should change your life for the other person. Unless you're doing that, this means oh, that it's over. Unless you're actually going through a huge transformation here. It might mean that it's over for now. Not for good, but for now. Capricorn. Okay, dreaming about one another. Probably staying in touch. Probably um, feeling one another energetically. Like a wonderful lovely energy flowing between the two of you. You both can feel this energy and you both want each other, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you will get together physically. You know, it could be kind of like remote. Yeah. Um, not, not necessarily physically, unfortunately. Yeah. So it's not a true 3D union, if you know what I mean. It could be like a spiritual union. Aquarius. 
okay, something's something's begin something it's, it's like there's a new beginning and again i said that for taurus before uh it could be your and your twin flames okay a new beginning like a new path like you're starting over but it could be that aquarius is starting over with someone else okay definitely new life and a new beginning and it's a good card so yeah and pisces there might be very serious conversations between the two of you and the one that is male will tell the truth and there are decisions here there's also coldness and it's like somebody is very icy as in um uh like very guarded emotionally without like you know talking about emotions without this huge um um huge like passion or something people might be talking and telling each other the truth uh and making decisions but it's really kind of rational and cold you know rather than emotional yeah okay now pick a card from one to three and that one will be your angel card for you and your twin flame okay one two three okay three fell out one love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive that's for number one number two codependent yeah. codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life either actual addictions you know like alcoholism or something but it could be that you both are codependent on one another you know so yeah so there's something there to be released and three is probably the most positive one give your relationship a chance work on your partnership yeah okay guys not many changes here maybe one day um i'm going to do this in polish language now for the other channel i'll see you soon i'll be doing more of these readings soon okay take care